fear has set in in the churches. They're afraid of the battle. Well, I know there's weirdos out there, and I know they're after your children, and I know they're trying to reprogram their mind and tell them that this stuff is normal, and I know that they want to put beer ads everywhere you go. You can't even go to a gas station without seeing nudity and drunkenness and filth. Well, that's the world. They're winning. We'll, we'll just, we won't say anything. How about you tell your children that it's wrong? You know, my wife made the comment because there were... We see the situation and like, well, that woman's dressed like a whore. That's wicked. Come on, Naomi. Let's go over here. Take the child away. And, and my wife says, you know, one day Naomi's going to tell you, hey, daddy, she's dressed like a whore. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. And she'll probably say it in public. She'll probably say it out loud. And what if that person hears? Oh, I'm sorry. She just says stuff. No. I'm like, yeah, baby, that's a whore. That's of the world. That's wicked. Naomi, I want you to be a lady. Not like that. Don't act like that. Don't dress like that. Don't look at things like that. It's wicked. And look, we need to stand up for our children today. We need to get back to the things that matter. And the only way we're going to do it is to have some boldness about us. It's to let God's Holy Spirit reign in our life. We have to do that by submitting ourselves. 